When we had last left the Arisen, they had another run-in with Sven, who turned out to be uh, none other than the child of uh, Disa, the super mistress, countess, uh, de facto ruler until the current sovereign reigned. Indeed, they also searched through the palace grounds for some incriminating evidence, and of course, who could forget when they went down to the waterfront zone and helped out uh, the t the child Daphne with various requests, and then found another child who was missing, Malcolm, inside of a weird archival a temple zone filled with books beyond measure. And now, with Regarding that all out of the way... And an important personage, you mean? Aye. Tell is, her ties to this figure from the neighboring country have a romantic tint. What? Uh, but nonetheless, uh, they they traveled on out and, and would have more duties ahead of them. This is Dragon's Dogma 2. Welcome back. That is very fascinating. That is incredibly fascinating. And you know what? Let's connect the fucking dots, baby. Uh, if Disa is purportedly, like, fucking someone from Batal, what if they're Beastrin? You know? What if they're Beastrin? Do we think Disa is maybe pregnant right now? There is seemingly now a point in which the fact that we have learned that when it comes to Beastrin and humans banging, it will be imperative that when that happens, we know that it is so far always the case that the offspring is Beastrin, right? We have not seen any instance where they are human. I, I would bet you that this will come into play, right? At some point in the story. Anyway, what say you? Good day, sir. Good day. Okay. Well, nothing. All right. Fair enough. Let's get another pawn, huh? Who are you there? Oh. Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. Hey, you're the same bald guy I was telling you all about before. Who's the one requesting? I didn't ask. It is none of my concern. The fellow said aught about the usual place. Okay. It's probably Brant. Unless it's Sven, but Brant usually meets us at night. Okay, let's see. What other type of pawn should we get? I'm thinking maybe a thief, right? I, I, I'm kind of keen to see how people have set up their other thieves, because right now I am really enjoying thief. I mean, we aren't playing as a thief right now. We're trying to get uh, archer leveled up, but I really do enjoy thief a ton. Okay, let's search for a pawn. Let's get a thief. Decrease that to where it's free. Quest knowledge. Oh, what quest do I have active, actually? Hold up. Hmm. Huh. This one. We want to have this one active. Okay. There we are. Advanced pawn search. Okay, all of our parameters are still in place. There we are. See what we get. And Cora, you were you knew how to I speak. I happen to understand Elvish, yeah. Master. I ex okay. Okay, who all should we get here? Oh, let's take a look at their abilities. Oh, look, we can even see new abilities that we don't yet have access to. Formless Faint? Blades of the Pyre? Okay. Damn, holy shit, I just realized this guy is dressed horny as fuck. Okay. Let's see. Huh, concussive step. Is that actually good? Ensnare and implicate are very good, we know. Easy kill. Yeah, I'm curious about that too. Okay. Wow, a lot of people having various masks and headwear on their thieves. <laughs> Another person with some uh, horny shit going on. Okay. 
Honestly, of, of all these pawns, I think, uh, frankly, when I go thief mode, I look pretty fucking cool, unlike a lot of these other suckers. <laughs> right? Okay. Let's get someone with implicate and... There's someone over here. Ensnare. Implicate, plunder, easy kill. Yeah, let's try this person, Medusa. Wearing a creepy... A uh, hat. Yeah, let's try this person. You've got all sorts of stuff we're unfamiliar with. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. It's like an executioner's hood. And may act independently. Okay, sure. You be with us. Oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. What? Who? Gordon? Okay, let's leave here. Great. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness pause can contract beyond the rift that inflicts oh, unspeakable right. harm on those around me. I've heard of this now. The pawn gradually loses all self-control, and in time will even cease to heed the arisen's commands. Yeah, it can be really bad. Can that really be true? Do you have it? I don't like the sound of it. I've not much to say at the moment. Okay. The easiest way I've heard to check is to look for the eyes. Any sort of, like, pulsing or redness. And it doesn't look like you have it. Okay. Good morrow to you, Arisen. Yeah, you seem fine as well. I think where we get a, a pop-up as well. Should your pack grow over full, have no fear. I'll lighten your load by spreading it out among us pawns. Great. Thank you, Gordon. Okay. Well, let's be on the way then. Right? Got to make room for your ship. What brings you here? I don't know. Okay. Is our mysterious beggar guy out here yet? No. He's not. Let's see. We could check more around town. You know, I'm down for that. We have yet to go to the slums in full form. Let's do that. Okay. The or the we have gone to the slums. I mean we have yet to go to the slums tavern. My bad. Oh. Is there anything up here of interest? Doesn't seem like it. Just a lot of very steep incline steps. Oh, a treasure. Lantern oil. Okay. Whoa. Let's take it easy there. That looks like somewhere we can jump off. A little ladder as well. I feel like it's. Oh, oh shit! Ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. I was about to say, it's so usually to safe to assume that these lead to something worthwhile. I'm going to go back up. Okay. Up here. Good. And then... Where'd that platform go? There we are. Okay. Oh, whoop. Oh, dear. My heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. There are more platforms here, too. Okay. Still, the ladder implies a, a good direction to go. Doesn't it? Looks like another place we can leap to. But from there... Where? Huh. At the same time, this building over here looks traversable. And look, there's an item underneath. Yeah, so even if we fall, we'll be good. Okay. Sure. No way to actually reach this battlement. Normally. Look, there's some fucking strange guy over there trying to jump. Oh my god, look at that! It's the Leaping Leopard Beastron! A, a cryptid! Of Vernworth, the leaping leopard. Look at him leap. My god. Oh. Oh, shit. 
Gordon, why don't you start spreading that rumor? That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Okay. Let's fall down here gingerly. There we are. Ah, fairy stone. Always worthwhile. God, you are terrifying. If we find a hat, I'm giving it to you. I don't even care. Okay, over here. Yeah, 180 RC. Royal Colas. Okay. Oh, can't go through that. <laughs> what a fucking fake out, making me feel like a damn fool. <laughs> okay. Sure. Hello. Heard of any ways to make some easy coin? Oh no, but I've I remember you. Okay. Let's head on out to that tavern. If we can even get back out there. Let's see here. Oh shit. I've completely forgotten how to get back out there from here. Oh, well, that ain't it. Oh, here we are. Okay, and then we'll continue on down here by the coast. Oh shit. Oh, it's not right. Uh -oh. It doesn't make any sort of sense. What? What else is going on? The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ever since he came here, he's only gotten worse. Uh oh. I understand how you must feel, but you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. Whoa. What's going on? That woman's taking advantage of us, she is. She knows full well we've nowhere else to turn. Will he truly be all right? I don't know. Let's see. Why, hello. Oh dear. I fear I've much to attend to. Which one of them was it? I can assist you with. Oh fuck, I don't know. I spend my days in quiet reflection. Pray keep your voice. Okay. Let's turn our lantern on. Nothing ever seems to happen around here. They went in here, didn't they? The two of them. I'm assuming that was their son behind her. Oh my god, did they not actually go in here? Yeah, we still don't have a solution for this creepy shit. Even weirder is, I don't see them in here. Did they not actually go in? I fear I've much to attend to. Okay. Sir, ought you not be Oh, it's in... you. Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? I suppose you must be a visitor. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea. But I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. Okay. Yeah, I can get it. You would procure it yourself. I am grateful beyond words, sir. <laughs> Elena, I may already have it. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? Oh my gosh, that is quite the request. Okay. The slums are a bane to the body's humors, 
and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. Okay. Tell is, Maya's might can be harvested from phantoms, monsters that wander the world at night. <laughs> okay, Medusa. I think I get the idea. Do I have some on me right now, actually? I think not, right? Oh, a beetle. I'll use it. There we are. Okay. Well, let's head on up and out here. We can pull some from Mildred's. I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. Over this way. Oh no, it's on the upper level, this right? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Oh dear. Okay. How many did we need? Three. Okay. Withdraw. Assuming it's in this section. Yeah, here we are. Great. Not too bad. I can't take it anymore. Oh, are you have okay? We met? Eterna? I don't I don't think we have. Okay. Hey, that was Malcolm. Okay. Hey Elena, I've got it. Check it out. Yes, sir. Good. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my rounds directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Oh, the creepy lower room? Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? Sure. Gladly. As servants of the gracious hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yeah, that's very kind of you all. Yet, at times, tis not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived, an unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now even their poor son Lubomir has fallen. Lubomir. By chance. He was examined by a roaming man, claiming to be a doctor. Huh. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. Oh dear. Okay. Gosh, was that his- him down there making the weird zombie noise, actually? Is he zombified? Here or no? He is. Oh. This young man is Lubomir. Okay. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him, but he has yet to show any sign of recovery. Wow, you think he wasn't a doctor? He was like some to sort of snake honest, oil salesman? I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. Right. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. Right. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. At any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst. You there. Help me. What? Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. Oh, he's, he's talking very vibrantly. He started with a slight fever. And now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better. That he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah. <laughs> what was going on with the voice direction this day? Something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the great hand? 
Come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Yeah, dude, I hear I hear a weird fucking noise in the basement. Are they actually fucked up? Lupamir, are they fucked up? What the hell? Investigate the gracious hand? Oh my god, are they fucked up? Okay, that's a bit closer to what I was expecting. Guessing we won't hear any rumors from these folk. Might I beg but a moment of your time? Oh? Oh, you're you're full of it. I fear I've much to attend to. Okay. Hmm. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? Oh. He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement. Uh -oh. Should his condition fail to improve. Oh, it's the old man that we heard in the basement. That is the basement sick room where our most critical patients convalesce under the abbess's care. Right, yes. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Who is permitted entry? Tell is. She gives the patients a special Oh, medicine. just her. I, I know not what kind. At times I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. Yeah, but it sounds like a zombie. And yet, a part of me is afeard for them. Lottie, I think you're on to something. Oh, okay. Lubomir. Lubomir, lube up your ears and have a listen. Oh, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. A nun save the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. Really? You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. I'll oh, do it. You've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. I okay. knew it to be so. Gordon, you knew? Well, what sort of evidence would we get? I know not why, but the words basement sick room set my hair on end. Shall we investigate? I like that. Okay, I was curious if I could kick the door down. <laughs> huh. Oh. What the hell? What was that? Did you see that? That motherfucker snuck in there. Oh, that's some shonky business, dude. Okay. Anything else I can do here? Am I actually tracking the quest? Yeah, gather evidence and apprehend the abbess. The abbess. <laughs> okay. Hey, what say you? A moment's prayer can do a Okay. I must be think we'll be hard pressed to find any evidence in here. Right? A moment's prayer can do Maybe we can speak with Lottie again out here? I do hope not befalls Lubomir. I should like to see him walk out of here in good health. Okay. 
Well, I've looked around the rear here, in the hopes of finding like a way. Got any tales to liven up my day? A way into that basement. But there seems to be no such thing. Huh. Okay. Unless there's like a tunnel nearby that we can use to get in there. That may be possible. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Maybe we can learn something at the end. Make it quick. I ain't got all day. Godric. Is it true you're the Arisen? That's what I've heard, anyhow. It's true. Only, I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the Arisen over in the tavern. But just oh, be right. sure you play yep, your part. The tavern. A fellow Drake or two. And okay. Is it you? Ours is a show unrivaled in all the land. A show? I'm a tad busy at the moment. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. Oh. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Supposed is only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. Huh. But that doesn't really get us anything, does it? Aye, that le Okay. Elena. Ah, yes. The abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. What's her deal? Is she like some kind of cultist necromancer or whatever? And once I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. What? She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And he gave her something small in return. Oh my gosh. Organs. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have a bought poison. medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. <gasps> the look of a scoundrel. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? Twas in the square in the eastern part of the common quarter, and always a night, as I recall. Eastern part of the common quarter, always at night. Oh, uh, okay. There we are. Interested in my wares? Yeah, Bruno, uh, what, uh, what say you? Well met. This here's the sanctuary of tipplers and merrymakers alike. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. You... Are your ears elven, or are your ears just like that? No, I think your ears are just like that. Okay, Keep talk. Those orders coming. This fearsome world of ours is best met with stiff drinks and cheery hearts, I say. Okay, I'll buy a round. Impressive. There you all go. <laughs> Even the pawns join in and love it. <laughs> okay. Well met. I assume you'll be starting. Can off we get with a drunk? Good stuff. Probably don't have enough money to test it yet. Right. I'm a little worried about that. We could pass the time, or never mind for now. Yeah. Let's investigate more out here. What is this? What's your business with me, Cos? I don't know. What's your business? Oh, you, you haven't any. Filthy beastlings have no place in our city. They belong in the wilds with monsters and lesser beasts. Oh, I love it. Love some fantasy racism. Okay. 
Let's see. Anything else out here? It is quite serene. The farmland. Okay, I don't know what that was, but that definitely didn't sound serene. Oh shit, it's a griffin. Is it going to come down here? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's check atop this ridge. Anything up here? Ah. Griffin is off and away. We might find a use for it. Okay. Let's keep poking around a bit. Hmm. Oh. Small village over there. Is that that, uh, yeah, the one that had the undead in it at a time before? Okay. More green warish. Always worthwhile. Don't think there's anything of a particular interest. Material up top such here. as this can be combined to craft things. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Okay, down here. Oh. Good. Oh, look at that. There's actually a little cave down there. I don't know if we had been through that. Oh shit! Is there a cave down here? No, perhaps not. Let's be a little thorough in our search. Eh, uh, no. Okay, I think maybe we go back up to the inn and pass the time. Right. A lot of things popping off at night. Navigate our way back around here. Okay. Good. Well oh, met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. I'm just here to pass the time. Many thanks. Rejoice, my darling, oh. for your Albert is returned. <gasps> it's him. Welcome home, dear. I spend my days spinning yarns, only to come home to a wife for whose radiance I have no words. <laughs> if there is a more fortunate fool in the city, I have yet to meet him. How could I dislike this guy now? Oh, you bold-faced flatterer! Albert! What would you of me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Okay, can I talk to her? Oh, well met, sir. Huh. Well met. This is I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. No, not for now. Some other time, maybe. Hmm. Interesting that he comes here, though. I follow my whims. Listen up, you lot. Albert, king oh. of beggars, has come to quench your thirsts. Aye. The ale's on me tonight, so drink up, my friends. Drink your fill. What would you of me? Oi there, the ale flows a plenty, so ne'er mind your coin purse. Drink your fill, my friend. What would you of me? Huh. We still don't know where he gets all the money well from. Well met. This here's. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Can we buy a round and maybe something will happen now? He'll, like, tell us if he sees that we're of a similar... Yeah, look at that. Maybe. How might we enter the basement sick room? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Gordon, you like that? <laughs> Oi there. So ne'er mind your coin purse. Uh. Drink... Okay. I only work when I fend. I'm always willing to. But he does have Aye, connection with. Okay. 
Well, the sun is going down. Should we just hang out here for a bit? I'm worried if I do the pass the time situation, he'll leave. Right? That said, it may be kind and wait. Well met. I let's, assume let's you'll be starting it. off with a mug of the good stuff. Let's see what happens. A look at yeah, it's thanks. showing us him. Oh. Look at this. He's all dressed up and shit. I'm not accustomed to speaking with strangers in the street. Huh. Let's make sure we're tracking this. I've just remembered. There was another matter we were to attend to hereabouts, was there not? Efficiency is not the only factor worth Am I to tackle him or just follow him? Maybe just follow him. He was sprinting earlier. Wonder if I got too close. Let's try and take it easy here. See if he'll break into a sprint again. Eh, no. Okay. It'll be our luck we're, we're following him, and then uh, we stumble into the other quest in that courtyard. He's definitely dressed up like a, a noble of some sort. I think he's wearing a dress, though? Huh. Okay. Oh. What in the world? So tired. I barely the vim to tie my boots. If I could, I'd never leave. Wonder if there's any easy work. Not sure what Sure. I'm no cook, am I? A pleasant spot to while away an afternoon. Weird. It was in the common quarter, too, that we were to spy on Elena, I think, right? A lot of spying going on. True enough, in the first game, there were plenty of quests that didn't have, uh... Like other... Strictly combat-focused objectives. Beggar's Garb! Oh! Deliver the Beggar's Garb! What? I can deliver it? To who? Baldwin's estate? And also Walter's tavern. Okay. What does the beggar's garb imply? The mantle of a beggar who told epic tales on the city streets cannot be equipped or worn as a change of dress. Interesting that we have two places we can take it. I'm not really sure which is more kindly to do. Maybe we can confront him now? I? What do you want? Oh. I can confront him with it. Look at this! What? Where did you get this? No. Never mind that. Listen, whatever you found out, whatever you think you know, pray, do not speak of it to anyone. What? I gave it to Albert. I completed it. Oh, shit. There were multiple ways you could have done that, I think. To and that was even an unmarked one. So differently is one of the few privileges of a pawn. Surely not. Wow. Oh man, I wonder what would have happened. I feel like that was the neutral way to go about that, right? He didn't seem terrible, right? Oh, sir. Oh, if Diana. you please. Pray excuse my boldness, sir. I am but a humble maid in service to a noble household. Uh, okay. Might I beg a moment of your time? Sure, you have it. My master is in need of aid, you see, and I'm hoping you'll consider offering your assistance. Well, depends on what you need. Oh, 
Thank you, sir. You cannot imagine my relief. Might we continue this conversation somewhere more discreet? The matter it concerns is rather sensitive, and I would not risk being overheard. Okay. Well, now part of me thinks you're going to try to kill me. You will find my master's manor in the noble quarter. Pray, meet me there at your earliest convenience. Okay. Sure. House of the Blue Sunbride. Okay. Well, let's track down this other quest. There we are. Spoke to Bruno. Oh, and look, now it's giving me a temporary marker of sorts. Okay. Perfect. I know not why, but the words basement sick room set my hair on end. Shall we investigate? Splendid. We shall, but we need investigate here first. Oh. Here. What the hell? Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. Lord Phasus? Is haven't we heard of this person before? <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. <sighs> Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Oh shit. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I near end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Oh, is this the guy who was the doctor and referred them in the first place? Glad we understand each other. Till next time. I be seeing you. This is not the first we've heard of Lord Phasus. Yeah. What could his aim be, I wonder? How very peculiar. What's your problem? Okay. Well, looks like we have an opportunity to confront her now. This is a place of prayer. Do keep your voice low. Huh. Am I tracking the quest now? Yeah. How curious. Should we be following that man? Good God, I've lost him. Huh. Well, am I to apprehend her then? I could just, like, tackle her. Gather evidence and apprehend her. The abbess appears to be trading favors with someone named Lord Phasis, though precisely what she offers him is unclear. She receives some sort of medicine in exchange for it. Investigate the basement sick room for evidence fit to implicate the abbess. Huh. Okay. How mysterious. I fear I've much to attend. Okay. Well, she doesn't seem to be on the move or whatever. Can't wait for the new equipment to come in. Oh, she is on the move now. I mean, I'm assuming I shouldn't tackle her unless she starts like sprinting, you know? Otherwise, it counts as assault, doesn't it? Okay. Quests such as this nary existed in the original game. So, I'm not too sure, like, the sort of rules for this sort of quest in the first place. 
Huh. Okay. If I could, I'd never leave. Let's turn our lantern on again. I mean, maybe I could just tackle her. Well, she's got the special medicine or whatever. Just as well, I could go look for that other guy. Oh, look, she stopped here. I spend my days in quiet. Hmm. Okay, maybe we need to talk with other people out here who may know more. Oh, you're sleeping. Okay. Need someone to talk to? I do. Need someone to talk. Okay. Well, <laughs> that does us little good. I spend my days in. Okay, Lottie. What of you? A good story. No. Maybe we talk with Lube here? I have noticed that the abbess goes out every night without fail. Perhaps you could... Oh. You think it's unlocked right now? Oh shit, it is. Medicine? Damn. Medicine! Monica! Medicine! Medicine! Now! 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 Oh my god. Oh, someone help me. Lawrence. Jahan? Bruno? Jahan Bruno. Oh. Okay. How might we enter the basement sick room? Well, we Not have it, Dirkcore. Whoa, a big tub of blood? Harpy pinion, goblin horn? Unlabeled medicine. Small fang or goblin horn. Records of treatment. Mayhap would serve us well to track down the former patients mentioned in these records of treatment. Okay. He's as you say. We better get out of here before. The patients oh. in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. Okay. Yeah, my bad. Whoops. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's cool. Let's see. This is this is not what I was expecting at all. Okay. Huh. I didn't anticipate that the, at least someone here at the Gracious Hand would be fucked up. Okay, I guess we ought to look over our items then. Records of treatment. Among those marked as discharged, you espy the names Jehan and Bruno. Documents detailing the symptoms of a number of patients. Cannot use it. A powdered medicine. Not is written on the wrapper, leaving its properties a mystery. Mayhap a learned doctor could divine its composition. Who would be a learned doctor, then? Do we know of one? Maybe the alchemy shop guy? So is this Jahan and Bruno down here? Is it these two? There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Are you Jahan and Bruno? As I recall, the two shared a few whispered words, oh. and I heard them. Okay. Hi, that Lady Ellen. And you're Aye, Jahan, yeah. Ellen. So we'd already bumped into them. Okay. Hmm. But now we need to find a doctor. Okay. Otherwise, we could wait at night again for that encounter. And chase down the other man. Okay. Let's go to the alchemy shop and see if maybe he knows anything. 
I don't know who else a doctor would be. Maybe in like the... Oh yeah, this is the racist guy. Okay, yeah, he's the crypto fascist. Alright, over here. Ah, excellent find. Let's check over this way. Are you a doctor? Take a look while you're here, eh? Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Got some good things on offer. No, Many you're not a doctor. Thanks. Maybe in the like noble quarter, right? Maybe a doctor has money and would live up there. Okay. Actually, are one of the houses labeled as doctor's house or something? Patrick's, Clark's, Rose Chateau, Comptroller, Watchhead, Baldwin, The Gracious Hand. Hmm. None are necessarily labeled as the doctor's place. Okay, but we could look through them. True enough. Let them talk. I'm too old to care. Stay out of Quench do you hail? Hey, Jarvis. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. Okay. Townsend's oh, estate. You came, oh. sir. I must confess, I feared you would not. Oh dear. But okay. I forget myself. You must be wondering why I asked you here. I should like to speak with an acquaintance of yours, a child with whom I espied you conversing. She is the spitting image of my young master, you see. It is my hope that she might take his place for a time, thereby granting him a reprieve from his sorry situation. Wow, okay. Diana, would you paint my mother a criminal? <clears throat> Perhaps I ought to be the one to explain. Oh. The, um, the other, like, teenage, like, girl in the slums, huh? Young master, I, I meant no offense. Diana has the right of it, though the situation is not nearly so dire as she makes it sound. Gosh, yeah, you do, okay. Wow. And she wanted to find, she wished to find her parents. I seek only the freedom to leave my own home. My mother is bedridden, you see, and her mind is not so sharp as it once was. Whenever I am absent, she grows terribly distressed. By leaving a look-alike in the house, I hope to ensure her peace of mind while I attend to matters of my own. This is such a weird thing to do. Would you be willing to lend your assistance? Okay, sure. Splendid. Thank you so very much. It was in the slums that I witnessed you speaking with the girl. Would you be so kind as to bring her here? Yeah, I can do that. Good God, do you think she's related to them? <laughs> God, I hope so, otherwise this quest is going to be very weird. Okay. Because <laughs> that's such a horrible solution for, for the orphaned girl, right? To be like, oh, you kind of look like him. Why don't you go pretend... Look, you want to find your parents? Well, I can't find them, but why don't you just... Let, let's just make believe, right? This old bat won't hardly know the difference. Maybe you could find the same way to do that, too. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Fucking Dragon's Dogma. God, I... <laughs> I don't know. If, if that is the solution, you know what? Fuck it. That's fucked up enough. I'm, I'm game. I'm down for it. Okay. Let's go find her real quick. Pray slow your feet. Oh, sorry, Gordon. You run too fast for the likes of me. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Okay, over here. And over this way. Good. I like as well that although we kind of fucked up with that uh, beggar outfit quest. I love that um, our pawn even acknowledged, like, yeah, you fucked up in such an incredible way. I've never seen it done like this before. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Where is that kid? There you are. Hey. Hoy, Arisen. I was hoping you'd come by so I could thank you again for all your help. You really made a difference around here. 
Daphne, I'm so sorry what I'm going to have to put you through. Mm -hmm. You wanted to ask me a favor this time. All right. How can I help? Okay, but also at the same time, I'm saying like there may be a big reveal that it turns out she is actually like their daughter. There are also in the world just people who look alike, you know? There, that just happens. It does happen that there are just people in cities who look kind of the same, you know? Oh, we're fading to black. So this noble boy wants me to pretend to be him? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure that'd work. I mean, I don't know the first thing about being a noble. Ah, but Daphne, you're a noble of heart. And perhaps that is all it takes. Besides, are you sure we can trust these people? It all sounds a bit fishy to me. Yeah, it is incredibly fishy. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, well. <laughs> but if I'm not very good at it, it's not my fault, okay? Right. Okay. <laughs> what a wild quest! What a fucking wild quest! Oh, we're escorting Daphne? Can you run, Daphne? Yeah. Okay. Let's try and get all the way back up there. Tell is, Vermin was once a beast from Kingdom. Mm, fascinating. Indeed. Though, it is not widely known among the common folk. Yeah, that is incredibly wild. And I, I wonder what implication that'll have, too. Okay, up here. Good. And over this way. Maybe that's why Disa has interest in someone from Batal, because she knows of it. Uh-oh, did we lose the kid? Oh my. was in the slums. Uh-oh. Still looking? Well, you'll know her at a glance, I'm sure. She looks just like me, after all. Uh-oh, we lost her. Oh, dear, we lost the kid. <gasps> oh, fuck. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Okay, back this way. We went through here. Oh, there she is. She just showed up on the radar. Whew! Nearly lost you there, Daphne. Okay, right this way. There you are. Right up here. It's a lot of stairs, but I'm sure you can manage. Yep, there you are. Okay, great. Right this way. Look, young master. She's here. <laughs> Indeed. I could be staring into a mirror. Diana, will you dress her and instruct her in her role? As you wish, young master. This way, if you please, miss. This is so wild. Isn't this like the parent trap what a or whatever? You've done me. Now is I this the plot of the parent trap? Mother. That like cornball 90s kids movie or whatever? I, I don't think I've ever actually seen it. I'm hoping a little cheer will aid her in her recovery. And a flower from Melv seems just the thing. And she was born there, you see. No doubt her days would be brighter with a memento of her old home by her bedside. Why didn't you just ask me for a flower instead of all this? All is ready, young master. You need only finish your preparations for the journey. Oh my god. What if he dies going out to Melv? Help Sebastian prepare? What in the fuck does that mean? Let's see. What else must I bring? Ah! I almost forgot. In that goes. 
Okay. The lands around Melva rife with poisonous flora. I'd hoped to pack an antidote for the young master, but the shops had none to spare. Tis not only poison the plants inflict, but drowsiness besides. Might there not be a curative that accounts for both? Oh, that accounts for both. Okay. You know, the roads around Melville are supposed to be really dangerous. I heard the safest way to get there is to carry something that reeks of Cyclops with you, because it'll scare all the monsters away. Oh. Okay. So we probably need to get him a panacea and something from a Cyclops. Okay. Something that reeks of Cyclops as well as some medicine that can cure the debilitations. Of blight and sleep. Okay. Well, we can do that. I'll be back. Let them talk. I'm too old to care. I'm not sure what would reek of Cyclops, though, aside from the Cyclops part. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Let's see. Let's head over here to the inn. And we'll swap out our... It seems Master Sebastian is lacking a few supplies. Shall we gather what springs to mind? Well met. You will soon forget okay. the fatigue of a long journey. Deposit. Let's get rid of some stuff as well. When Good, treated. and then withdraw. Oh dear. The eye of a cyclops. That may work. Or maybe a, a tooth? Or tusk? Of a hobgoblin? Rugged bone. Ah, from a cyclops skeleton. Okay, that may be it. And then something that can cure sleepiness and blight. I'll get those two. Just in case I can give them over as well. Otherwise, we'll take a panacea. Just in case. To the foremost hospitality, much obliged. Okay. Let's see if all this works. Let's head back to that kid. Yeah, this is wild as hell. <laughs> I like that they, they have foregone the normal solution, which would be, like I said, to ask us to go pick up the flower. Instead, we're going through with disguising this kid and trying to make sure they're equipped to go out on their own. Okay. Sebastian, have a look. Well then, I I must confess, oh. I feel rather uneasy. This is my first time leaving the city. Oh, God. I only hope I've not forgotten anything of import. Hmm. You think I ought to bring some medicine and monster repellent with me? What precisely would you suggest? Okay, well... How about... Let's see... Deliver anything. Okay. Well, we'll give over a panacea. Because it does both. And then something that smells of a cyclops? I mean, I guess we should be careful. We'll just give them both. The eye and the, the bone. It may be that we have three spots in order to give over... ...either debilitation curative... ...and one item from a cyclops, but I have no idea. We'll just be careful. Let's see if it works. My thanks. I'm certain these will come in useful. Okay. Now, I really must be going. Wish me luck. Take care, young master. Come back safe. Won't, uh, won't the mother know that they sound different, though? Or is it that bad? Thank you for your aid in all of this, sir. 
I shall see about procuring you a suitable reward. So pray do come visit us again. Okay. Yeah, you've really... You've really done something here. <laughs> Sebastian set out for Melv. I guess we're to return in a few days' time. Right. Okay. <laughs> what a truly wild quest it is. Okay. Sir Ludolf's oh. lust knows no bounds. This time he set his sights on the watchhead's misses. Still, however pressed, no man is like to hand her his own wife, eh? The watchhead refused, and rightly so. But his lordship doesn't take no for an answer. He employed his usual method, which is to say he dispatched the watchhead on a mission to slay a Dullahan. Whoa. Poor old Gregor departed last night. I'm sorry to say it, but he shan't be returning alive. Uh-oh. That's the sort of man that noble is, you see. Nought noble about him, if you ask me. Oh my gosh, can we track down this guy? That tyrannical Sir Ludolf thinks he can do whatever he likes. And, well, mayhap he's right. He had the watchhead himself sent off to fella Dullahan. Huh. Who is Lundolf, though? Patrick, Allard, Comptroller? Maybe. Okay. Well, we have some more leads on quests. We probably ought to find a proper quest for this so we can in some way track down this guy who got sent out to find a Dullahan and slay it. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that there'll be no way uh, they can do that. At least, at least not without us. Alright. When next we come back, we have our orders of business. Until next time, please take care of each other.